Now, welcome to Assassin's Creed again. This is Rex and Pete coming at you. We're picking up with Arno after he's just found out that the girl he's been chasing is a dirty, dirty Templar. Yep. They put him in prison, and while in prison he met a long-haired old man who taught him the meaning of speed through passing your hand through drops of water. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's, uh... Which everybody knows. Like, if you know anything about anything, you know you become ridiculously fast. That's sort of by just passing your hand through water in and out real quick. Yeah, like, at first your hands are going to get wet, but, like, when it doesn't get wet, you know you're ready to fight evil. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> what we're actually doing is trying to track down Bellet, who affectionately calls us Piss Pot. Yeah. You know how the you notice how none of the rain is touching him. Yes, yeah, because he's he's that's, just dodging it all. That's training. But that's the thing is he's moving so fast you don't actually see him dodging it, so it yes. looks as if he's standing still. Yeah, yes, and we have an old reincarnate Richard Harris to thank for that. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, if Dumbledore teaches you how to fight, you you know you're gonna be good. Well, just on you know power of beard alone. Yeah. The good Dumbledore too. Yeah, not that we're not talking about that crappy Dumbledore that didn't actually play Dumbledore like Dumbledore. Hey, Brian tried. He didn't ruin it, but... You know, it's just, it, it'd be really difficult to follow the perfect cast. Like, I'm really worried about, like, I like Jared Leto as an actor, but I'm, I'm like, I'm a little bit worried to see him take on the Joker after Heath Ledger did it, you know, perfectly. Ah, they said that about Jack with Heath. They always say that. Yeah. As you can see, I'm Perhaps important. This is yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm in the uh, Saint Chapelle here, or Saint Chapel, or I don't know. I don't know. I don't speak French. I don't know how to pronounce it. No, it's Dave Chappelle's Chapel. Oh, oh, that's right. We're yep. in Dave's Chapel. Yep. Everybody wondered what he did, like why he just kind of disappeared. He had to build himself a chapel. Yes. Yeah. You think he spent all of his fortune noticing how elaborate it is, but they paid him a lot of money for Chappelle's show. Yeah. Like he could have had like. 40 smoking things on a ceiling if he wanted. Yeah, or like the whole what thing built out of those big sort of windows. Yeah. I think they're called Oculus, and if there's more, it's an Oculus. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think this window is actually supposed to be because that looks like the uh, front of that little assassin's thing. Ahaha! Success! I have solved the puzzle. fit that perfectly in this was the wrong thing how pissed would you be yeah seriously <laughs> it goes it has a whole animation to show you try again <laughs> <laughs> nope that was not it the assassins must have a hell of a contracting company how do they build this stuff into these buildings with nobody noticing seriously <laughs> Those are some solid chandeliers too. They don't even yeah, move. Like, <laughs> it's the weight of a human man. <laughs> Swinging from them, them does not even does not affect it at all. That's right. Watch, like solid. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind silly things like physics. Well, if your contractors are good enough, physics need not apply. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the the. Not the same contractors. I want no swing on my chandeliers. Yeah. You're like, well, that's crazy. Like, how am I supposed to do that? I have gold. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I have much gold. <laughs> this will cost you. You found him. Place. The sanctuary. The place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. From these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. So for this guy, they were like, Bellic. We have one note. Served us well for six hundred years. Sound like a pirate. All right, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a dungeon. <laughs> Guillaume spawned you from the bell tower. <laughs> Dude, all I hear is pirate. <laughs> arr, 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 arr. We'll be keeping to the code. <laughs> Shut up. We're here. We're here. I like the candidate will approach. Oh. 
I guess I'm the candidate. Or a candidate in this guy, in this French guy's really proper British accent. Right. The candidate. <laughs> Let's see. Did the sound go again? Yeah. Oh, no sound. No sound. So. Your walking slowly skills are <laughs> excellent. You're standing in the middle of a circle skills and need work. You'll notice, if you are paying attention, that you are standing a little far back and to the left. Not dead center. As assassin, you will need to be standing directly inside of circles. By power of beard, we give you a four. I feel like there's something to build upon. <laughs> Look at Bellic's beard. Interrupted only by Wicked Scar. Your pirate speak is, I would have to say, zero. You were given at least five minutes of dialogue, and the term Shiver Me Timbers was uttered not even once. This must be improved upon. I cannot stress this enough. Shivers, <laughs> shimbers must be shivered. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? This is not relevant to this boy. <laughs> you are not that far in your training. You are a beginner. You don't even need to know what it means to shiver these timbers until you are intermediate at, at least. <laughs> Just the, say it over and over and over uh, again. Let's see how he does at grabbing the trapezoid goblet. You know, I can't... Oh, he knew to drink it. Most people, <laughs> when it is not round, they throw it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't throw it. <laughs> I feel like this is borrowing heavy from uh, Batman, the Arkham Asylum yeah. games. This is like... I feel like I'm about <laughs> to, like, fight Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> now, we have given you the LSD. Would you prefer to listen to Pink Floyd's The Wall or Dark Side of the Moon? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Must be Pink Floyd. No other option. <laughs> Look at these pictures. Dude, go to Adultus. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure nobody's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Adultus is two men playing with wooden sticks. I don't think I want to go to that channel. We'll make sure nobody's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> What did you see? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't do not do that. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. This is so the demon scenes from Batman Arkham City. Yeah, a little bit. Courage, my boy. You oh, wait just statues are doing the creepy I will thing. return when this hand reaches the top. And there is to be no mischief. You are to be my successor, detective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although not so much with the uh, problem killing people, like was, Batman. Was he saying one. something? Where is no, that? I'm just looking. Uh, yeah. six we should be well away by now. No, Daddy, no. I don't want to be a spoiler, but I bet I don't get there in time. This metaphor is world is crumbling. You can tell because we crumbled his world. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little on the nose. <laughs> Very on the nose <laughs> metaphor. Fun as balls to draw. <laughs> Skulls marked the way. <laughs> Avoid the, the geysers and the geezers and the geezers. Don't want anything to do with either one of them. It's a smell thing more than geriatric profile. I knew I wouldn't get there in time. Oh. No! Damn you, man in black. Oh, the letter. He's feeling guilt in his LSD trip. At least you know he's doing it right. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I love you. And we don't say it enough. <laughs> you must receive it today. It's very... Am 
I to believe from that graphic that they installed that parapet tile right to concrete? <laughs> <laughs> I think not. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This game's total bullcrap. That's where I draw the line. Yeah. You know, you had to. There's no way you can level that little. But whatever. Yeah, you had suspended disbelief up until that point. That tile would be cracked Haven't as a mother of her. It's not happening. Watch the fight. See how long. Let's see how long Michelle Villasera can hold up. <laughs> I bet until it's right before I get there. Oh, you were a worse one. See? I thought, you know, for a second, I thought I would get there in time. No. They even called them the trials. Like, I had to do the trials, like the demon trials, like... Yeah. Oh, and look at this. this is this a room this full of assassins mean. standing in a line? This isn't Batman y at all. No, I know what to do though. <laughs> if one of them attacks you, just cut a hole in one that makes it look like it's you, and then stand behind. When he yep. goes to attack that one, you come up behind him. Yep. And then the game's over. But these are, like, this is literally, literally a room full of assassins. I know. But it's nice, you know what to do. Yeah. Then burn his house down instead of killing a humble peasant that yeah. was accused of murder, but save the one guy that you think is one guy, but then he's really a different guy. Yeah. Whether he's Raish or Raz. I don't know. Yeah. I think Raish is actually the technical. So what I do is I fight this guy. You know, oh. disappearing. That's cheating. It's a strong move. <laughs> so, yes, I have to sneak through the assassins to fight the, uh, the head main assassin. This is... Kill the assassin without being detected. Uh, so not be detected. I feel like you could have read that. You must leave no trace! trying to think of more of uh, his lines from that scene in uh, Batman Begins. but I don't know what you're talking about. That's the only one I can think what, of. In what scene are you referring to? The, uh... No, I'm just saying... Not, face your fears. No, he knows what to do. This time I'm not going to run out there, because that did not work. <laughs> no. Well, unless you were trying to get a knife in the back. Then it worked perfectly. Yeah. That was a solid plan for the back knife. at us. Do, 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 do. Creep up and kill him. Try to pretend like this isn't a direct rip off of Batman in every way, shape, and form. What are you doing? Trying, trying to, to dance get him. with him, or are you going to kill him? I'm trying to get him. Oh, there you go. I had to find the right button. It was X. It's the kill button. <gasps> oh! And it's me! Mind blown right now. Face yourself in the cave, you must. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Leave your weapons here. Need them. You are not. If you're gonna steal from something, Batman and Star Wars is good though. Or borrow. Yeah. <gasps> Look. Now he's sitting too close. He's his cir Our, his circle. center circle is bad. It's bad. It's just not good. Oh, look, we got sound. I've got the hidden blade now. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Sequence to memory two. Now we found the assassins, 
did some drugs, had a party, and now we is an assassin. Yeah. Ooh. Whiplash again. And we've got no sound here. Stupid. Glitch. Should I, should I do... Hmm. This is really annoying, the lack of sound. Oh, so now I get to join the modern-day assassins, too. I'm joining old and new assassins. Jeff, do we want to fight the Templar Menace? Yes. Should I press play and enjoy my setback and running myself for the truth? I bet this won't have sound in it, either. Really? Stupid. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassin's Initiate. Stole a video from the Templars. And that's how we make dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. In 1950, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. This is the voice I've chosen. I don't like it. Okay. Maybe I had no voice then? What is going on? Why isn't it? I don't know. Weird. I think this is explaining how the animus works. Why did Rosalind Franklin's x rays seem to confirm it? Precursor DNA. You know, I've never liked the modern-day storyline in the Assassin's Creed games. Da -da. It's all about the precursor genome. I've been saying that since the beginning. Yeah, for years. I knew it was going to this. It's just, you know, it's all about the triple helix precursor genome. And then you do that, and that solves, like, all the problems, man. Yeah. And so you can, like, genome this and that and uh, there you go yep. so I think this is basically just trying to explain how you were playing as an old assassin in your DNA so we're trying to find somebody with a lot of precursor genome in their DNA Okay. Nice. You did it. There you go. Looking for precursor genome DNA. A lesser man would have quit. Is that confusing? Oh, more more of this lady. Stir it up. We're looking for Sage who has a lot of DNA. Doesn't most people have a lot of DNA? You would think. Did you? I'm not really clear. It's just, he says the more they find, the closer they get to Abstergo's final goal, but I'm not really clear on what Abstergo's final goal is. Are you? No. Never have been, really. Nope. I get that they're bad until you kill them, and then they're pretty sure that you're bad. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not really sure who's the bad guy, even. So we're trying to find... Morals in this game seem very much a matter of perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, the Ben Kenobi, the situation. So Arno is trying to find one of these Sage guys. That's why we're playing as Arno. I was wondering. Sage McAllister. Although I think Wait, it's... Wait, isn't he the author of Royal Bannon vs. the Mummy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going on in the modern context, man. We got to find ourselves some Sage DNA. I actually think the decision to play as Arno revolved more around the fact that developers thought it'd be cool to be in revolutionary France. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing. I've got something else for you. Oh, look, the more she had time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. Okay, so we're going to show this. This is showing like Arno's new assassin's abilities, and this game has a pretty extensive like upgrade menu and different costumes and stuff like that. So, one last thing. 
While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. So there's four-player co-op in the game. That's just telling you how to get to it. All right. So this is uh, real quick. Just kind of go through like all the different customization on Arno. Like these are all the different color schemes that you can unlock. There's lots of different costume pieces and each one of them have different advantages and disadvantages you know some of them make your eagle vision better some of them make you quieter as you walk um the biggest decision for me comes down to which one i think looks coolest yeah. <laughs> it's like oh it looks cool and it does this thing so you know bonus right so as I progress through the game, Arno's costume is going to change because the farther we get along, the cooler stuff we have unlocked. And it does that in like every Assassin's Creed game gives you op gives you like access to like the old assassins' outfits. But it's like you know, I spent 120 hours looking at that costume. I'm done with it. Yeah. So we're gonna upgrade our weapons, upgrade our guns, and now we're good to go. And unleashed into Paris as an assassin for the first time. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Pete and Rex, more of this came from. Later.